This is the third time we started this vlog. We're gonna document my many failures. Failure number one was you didn't even hit record. I was recording when I wasn't meaning to record, and then not recording when I, so I was, everything was off. That's the classic error. I hate that. Yeah. Failure number two is mic was turned off. What the good people of YouTube missed is why the the lead into why Bradford and I decided we're going to title this vlog Communion is Not a Snack. I love it. So we're just going to leave that a mystery. Welcome to the Sunday vlog titled Communion is Not a Snack. Today's Sunday vlog brought to you partly by Paul Reed Smith Guitars. This is the mighty silver scow, the McCarty 594. Mm. Showing off the guitars, Brian. In a royal metallic blue. Are you in your churches? If you're if you're meeting in limited capacity like we are, social distancing, masked up, are you Doing are you doing communion? And if so, how? Because typically in the church, communion is like everyone's got their fingers in the same thing. I've never thought that was really sanitary before. <laughs> it's kind of gross anyway. I purposely you pass, did not do... You pass that thing around yeah, with all the yeah, tiny little cups? This is Fran, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. You're on worship tutorials now, Fran. I love worship tutorials. <laughs> we have a table here with our communion. What, what are these things? These are lovely little um, one and done. If there's a wafer that's embedded in the top. So there's a wafer in the top, yeah. With a little juice on the bottom. And it's Very a cool. self-serve. So come in. Yeah. You can pick up um, at one. And so people don't have to worry mm -hmm. about breaking off bread. No passing the thing around, the tray. Right. You know, passing the bread or whatever. Look, there's Caleb. Caleb, I will say this. As you've been in videos, have you noticed the comments saying like, hey, I didn't know Adam Levine was your worship leader? <laughs> Have I haven't those? seen those, but, but I'll be honest, they don't before. surprise me. <laughs> so today we're singing the song Forever by Carrie Job, Bethel Music. It's been covered mm. by lots of people. Who I don't know who all wrote that one. It's a great song. That song is the original Reckless Love song. Well, what? Your reckless love could... It's in the song, Reckless Love. It's your perfect Nobody love. Nobody said boo. And then Reckless Love is in the original lyric. Nobody said a word. That song was huge. There was a year where it was like, every post on the internet was like, so we're doing forever for Easter, right? And everybody, everybody did that song for Easter. Yeah. Yeah, they them. all sang reckless love in their churches for Easter and nobody said a word. Talk about it. And then the song reckless love comes out and everyone's like, we're gonna boycott Bethel because that's not, that's not theologically right. I do not appreciate hypocrisy. I can't, I can't put that in the video. <laughs> I'm not telling you what to do in your churches, but if you're singing the song forever and you're not singing the song reckless love because of the word reckless, then you're a hypocrite. Something to contemplate. <laughs> something to, I say you're a hypocrite, Brad's like, something you should think about. This message was approved by Angelo Hall. We asked Austin to set the stage lighting for us. Just for us. So that, so that we could vlog. So we could vlog. Create social media content. Yeah. That's the kind of power that while, we have here. While I'm technically on the clock for the church. Bradford, let's talk about these, these guitars. I have the Paul Reed Smith McCarty 594 mm. core model. Bradford's got the John Mayer signature Silver Sky. John yes. Mayer's signature, literally, not, on the back of it. It's, it, it is. Yes. It it's is. not silver. It's in Orion Green. I want to say, say it's Orion. If it's, you know, 
Orion sounds great from though. the cosmos. I really don't know. That's Orion. That's true. So we've got some content on these guitars coming, like more thorough. Yeah, yeah. And like we actually have like thought out. We have we have several videos planned. One of them is titled "Why This Guitar Makes Bradford So Mad." <laughs> but that's clickbait. You're gonna have to wait till we upload that. That's bait. Talk to me about this Silver Sky. Mm. Miniature so, review time. Let's talk in terms of looks, feel, and sound. Okay. It looks awesome. Next. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it does look very good. I love I'm it. I'm into everything, including the backwards PRS. I style. love that, actually. Yeah. It feels really good, too. A lot of people uh, are taken aback by the neck, thinking that it actually, which is interesting, I've heard people say they think it's big, it's huge. And it, I mean, I kept fi finding myself fumbling over my fingers because of like, between the neck and the scale length, it's not something I actually have normally. So I, in the moment, I was trying to do stuff and I was freaking out. But it also feels like a, tradi feels like a traditional strap, but it also feels like a PRS. Yes. Which is crazy cool. Like it's like this interesting combo of the two. Um, the other thing is how it sounds. Yeah, let's talk about these pickups. These pickups, are the the PRS 635JMs. So it's like 635.5, in other words, it's like halfway between a 63 and a 64. Because John so, Mayer's number one strats were a 63, 63 and a 64, 64. Something like that, 64? yeah. Okay. So they are, they're great. Now, the bridge pickup is unlike any other if, bridge pickup. If I understand, they're the same pickup. All three all of three them. three positions. Yeah. A lot of builders will do a different neck, middle, and Yep. Like a, a physically a different pickup, but this is just the same exact pickup. It's the pickup. same pickup. Um, and I Not think that may position. be contributing to why, well, you got like this really even sound. It's not, you're not getting humbucker sounds. It's not fat, it's not ginormous, but it's also does not remind me of many strap pickups that I've played on a bridge position. Bridge position is weird. Like I typically could stay on a neck pickup on a strap like the whole time. Mm. Um, but when you want those big chords, flip, so this is the McCarty 594. This is an ultra popular model that they brought out several years back. Mahogany body, maple cap on top, carved maple top. Uh, two humbuckers, volume and tone for each one. Each pickup has a push pull, so you can split, and the split sounds are convincingly single coil, would you say Bradford? Oh yeah. Uh, they sound really good. And uh, so this is a 2017 model that they sent us, full disclosure here, PRS sent us these guitars on loan, so we don't get to keep them, unfortunately. Mm. Unless we want to buy them, Bradford. I suppose. I think, I think they would let us keep them if we sent them money, as, as mm. things mostly go. One of the stars of this guitar is the, the what are these called? 5815LT pickups. These pickups are designed, the 58 means they designed them to after a pickup that came out was very popular in 1958. The 15 means they did it in 2015. The LT means low turn. Anyway, these are their basically their take on a Gibson 58 PAF mm. pickup, and they they sound incredibly good. You cannot buy these pickups separately. Yeah, we asked. Even with the connection, we tried. We asked. They're like, yeah, sorry. You have to buy them in a guitar, and these guitars aren't cheap. So uh, these pickups are awesome. What else can I say? It's very comfortable. It's not super heavy at all. It's ergonomical. Yeah, the neck is, I love the neck. This would probably lean toward more of the thicker neck, uh, but it's super, super comfortable. Uh, is. This is their pattern vintage neck, which I understand is the chunkiest neck that PRS offers. So I'm guessing they're going for that chunky Gibson Les Paul thing, it feels like it feels like it costs, and it, if you know these guitars, they're not cheap. But uh, we believe you get what you pay for a little bit. So we'll have these in more videos coming soon. And this is what Bradford's playing through. Well, this is what he brought it in today. But he's playing Kemper number one, <laughs> Kemper number two. Well, wait, wait for it. <laughs> Behold, the board of pedals. The board of pedals. Look at that. Let me let me give you a tour of my board. Axe FX3, FC12. Done. We started the vlog out by saying we're gonna title it Communion's Not a Snack. 
Because what you were talking about this yeah. morning yeah. in our huddle about how these just are completely devoid uh, of any, I, any flavor or I, I don't like them. I, <laughs> I, I, I will say to all of you out there, I, and I, I admit it, this I don't like this. We we normally have focus camera fresh Hawaiian bread. Oh yeah, we do it right. That stuff is good. There, you tear off a big old chunk and. <laughs> you know, you have nice Welch's grape juice or some good Merlot or Cab. I hope that's acceptable to say on here. I'm I think sorry. that's if totally not, fine. No. If, if not, we've said, we've said far. If not, we would have a problem with what Jesus did on that. Yeah, night, right. If you know what I'm saying. I know what you're but saying. But this, oh, dude, this is just blah, blah, blah. not that. But so, it, but it's sacramental. <laughs> so that's all that matters. So you, it represents the body. So you and said that, and I turned to Bradford and I said, "Communion's not a snack." Bradford. <laughs> And I was like, that's what we're going to title the vlog. And then I, and I was like, I don't know where we're going with that, but now after I have received the communion. The snack pack. This, this was one of pack. the worst culinary experiences oh, that I've ever had in my life. And I, you know, and I very few say, people admit it, but I admit it. It's terrible. I was going to say, Benji was right on. Oh, man. These terrible. things are bad. And I will say this, I don't know where this is going, but just, just know it's this, going that on the in YouTube. this day and age where everybody is so divided mm. and so torn apart and rageful and angry, even this... I'm gonna use that, Brad, for even this snack pack. <laughs> when understood biblically and theologically, it is powerful because it unites the church. And Lord mm. knows we need unity. Amen. Yep. Hey, yes, God bless you guys. I'm gonna shoot a video.